In the next five minutes, I will show you how using the right prompt can unlock the full power of AI. See, most people open ChatGPT, just type a quick question and hope for the best. But with the right prompt, ChatGPT can better write emails, can debug your code and analyze your data. Prompt engineering is about shaping your words so the AI gives you exactly what you need, faster and smarter. All right, so what is prompt engineering? Well, prompt engineering is the practice of designing and optimizing text input to generative AI models like ChatGPT or Copilot to achieve a desired response. Think of it as the art of communicating and talking to AI. Let me show you a quick example. Let's assume that we would like to ask AI to recommend a book. For example, you can say recommend a book or you can make it slightly better. You can say I would like to recommend a fiction book or you can even make it slightly better as well by saying recommend a historical fiction book set in World War II. So now you are giving the AI exactly what you want or what you're looking for and by refining your prompt the artificial intelligence models will be able to generate more robust, consistent outputs. So to design any prompt, there are four different components. The first one is what we call it context. Think of it as the background knowledge to help the model understand who you are and what you're looking for. Let me show you. You can ask the AI to assume that you are an expert financial analyst or assume that you are let's say an expert data scientist. And the idea is that you are giving artificial intelligence first a persona. And that's what we call it context. Next, we give it clear instructions. Think of it as clear statement of the desired goal. Let me show an example. You can simply ask it, I want you to classify the following text as positive, neutral, or negative. Next, if you would like to provide your artificial intelligence model with input data so you can say for example text colon apple stock increased by two percent in today's trading session finally the fourth component of a prompt is that you give it what we call it an output indicator this simply tells the model what the format of the output should look like and these are the four key components to structure any powerful prompt with that, let's go back to ChatGPT and test out this prompt together. By the way, if we haven't met yet, welcome to my channel. I'm Dr. Ryan Ahmed. I'm a professor and best-selling online instructor. I've taught over half a million students worldwide. And if you like this video, I've created the world's most comprehensive agentic AI bootcamp covering all about AI agents. I cover every single agentic framework available, including N8N, Autogen, Crew AI, and Langraph. Check it out on Udemy today. I've included a discount link below. With that, let's go back to the video. All right, so here we go. So now I am in ChatGPT5, which is the latest and greatest model by OpenAI. And here I just copied and pasted the prompt. Assume that you're an expert financial analyst. Classify the following text as positive, neutral, or negative. That's what the input should look like. And that's the output indicator. If you go ahead and click run, now you get sentiment colon positive. And this is exactly the output that we are expecting ChatGPT to generate. It's also giving us rationale here as an additional output as well. That's it. That's all I have for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you found this video helpful, please make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. I've got a ton of practical AI tutorials coming your way. And don't forget to join our AI community where you can grab the prompts, slides, and connect with others building the future of AI. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.